It's time to fire this thing up. What a beautiful day out on the water. Hey, well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you back aboard the boat. What I'm in is our recently painted 1983 25-foot pursuit project boat. And the key to getting a great paint job is the preparatory work involved, OK? It really pays off on the finished result. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is we have another project boat that needs to be painted. You remember our 1980 57-foot custom sport fish, the Monterey, okay? Well, the paint's a little dull, and we need to actually take care of things, and that's what today's episode is going to be all about. We're going to be looking at the professional aspect of a quality paint job, and where we're really going to zero in is on some of the port lights on the Monterey. They're original from 1980, and we're missing some hardware. Some of these plastic frames are cracked. And wait until we show you what company manufactures these port lights. You would never guess it in a million years. It's pretty cool, wonderful story. We're also going to be talking about how to glue them into the boat with epoxy resin. We're going to look at some various types of catalysts or hardeners, as well as filler materials. And no matter what project you might have coming up, this is going to be some very vital information. But guess what? Before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working right here along the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange with, again, the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be pooling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. 